Thank you, everyone. I call the meeting to order at 5.41 p.m. Moving on to the territorial acknowledgement, we respectfully acknowledge that the SFSS is located on the traditional and unceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Musqueam, Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, Kwikwetlem, and Katsi nations. Unceded means that these territories have never been handed over, sold, or given up by these nations, and we are currently ceded on occupied territories. Moving on to roll call of attendance. Is the archaeology alternate here? The archaeology alternate? I believe I remember getting... Oh, it says they are still connected to audio. We will get back to them in a bit. Um, Bachelor of Environment, Center Gretz, Behavioral Neuroscience. Hi, everyone. My name is Arthi. My pronouns are she, her, and all my access needs are met. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to biology. Hello, everyone. My name is Nick. My pronouns are he, him, his, and all my access needs have been met. Moving on to BPK. Hi, everyone. My name is Jovan. He, him, all of my access needs are met. Chemistry. Hi, my name is Hannah. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, all my access needs are met. Oh. Cognitive sciences. Thank you. Um, computer science. Thank you, Mabel. No mic today. Um, criminology. Hi, my name is Henry. Pronouns he, him. All my access needs are met. Data science. Hi, my name is Jennifer. She, her, and all my access needs are met. Earth sciences. Uh, is Earth Sciences here? Earth Sciences is not here. Economic Student Society? Economic Student Society is not here. Environmental Science Student Union? Hi, everyone. I'm Grayson Bark. He, him pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Thank you. Is the Film Student Union here? Moving on to geography. Thank you, Eric. Moving on to Asusu. Health Sciences Undergraduate Student Union. Thank you. Uh, moving on to history has sent regrets. On to Indigenous Studies Student Union. Uh, Evan Achatola, he, him, and my access needs are met. Thank you, Evan. Moving on to Interactive Arts and Technology. Is Interactive Arts and Technology here? Thanks. Um, moving on to International Studies Student Society. National Studies is not here. All the stories. Moving on to Mechatronics. Is Mechatronics here? I myself am here. Um, Philosophy Sent Regrets, Political Science Student Union. Are you here? Hi, guys. My name is Aaliyah. She, her, all access needs are met. Thank you. Um, psychology has sent regrets. I believe Marwan will be speaking for them today. Um, Science Undergraduate Society. 
Hello, my name is Catherine. She, her pronouns and all my access needs are met. Thank you. Is Sas here? Uh, second call for Sas. Sas is not here today. Okay. And then software systems, statistics, and yeah, software systems and statistics have um, given their um, access needs in the chat. Is sustainable energy engineering? Hi, everyone. My name is Andrew. Uh, I'm pronouns are he, him, and all my access needs are met. Nice. Moving on to constituency groups, is DNA here? DNA? No DNA. Is First Nations Métis and Inuit Student Association here? In the chat. Thank you. And is out on campus collective or oh, see here? Hi, I am here. Um, see they pronounced Adriana coming teacher. Is the SOCA counselor here? Hi, my name is Yae. Um, access needs are met, pronouns she, her. Thank you. Affiliated student groups. Is Residence Hall Association here? Hey everyone, uh, my name is Manuel. EM is uh, all my access needs are met. Thank you. Is the TSSU counselor here? Hi everyone, my name is Tranjali. She, her pronouns, all access needs are met. Thank you. Is the SF Purge counselor here? SF Purge, a second call. Oh, sorry. Purge sent in regrets. SF Purge sent in regrets. Um, moving on to the executive committee. Liam has sent regrets. Oh, moving on to VP Internal, Ashley. Hi, Ashley, DGB pronouns. All my access needs are met for today. Moving on to VP Finance and Services. Is the VP Finance is there? Um, no VP Finance. We'll move on to VP at University and Academic Affairs. Hello, everyone. I'm here. I see Matt. I'm joining from iOS computer. Video and external are both here, but they have. I think we don't. Oh, have I have audio now. Sorry to interrupt here. Um, but yeah, access needs. Oh, shoot, we have to unlock the door. Access needs are met, but we're driving. We just finished uh, lobby day, so we're driving to our ferry, so we don't miss it. So like. Yeah, we just might be a bit delayed in responses. Um, and it's also my data. So yeah, Nancy's booking. Um, so sorry, this is such a mess. We're like packing and shit. But um uh, okay, that's it. Sorry, that was really long. Sounds good. We'll move on to VP events and student affairs. Uh he him pronouns all access needs are met. Thank you. We will now move on to society staff. Is uh, the facilities manager here? 
He's on vacation right now, so he is not here. Uh, temporary operations organizer. Sindhu here, pronouns she, her, hers, and all my access needs are met. Thanks, Sindhu. Is the policy research and community affairs coordinator here? I will take that as a no. I believe I saw we do have the administrative assistant here. Moving on to ratification of the regrets and the consent agenda. Our regrets are President Liam Feng. However, we have some more to amend on. They're on my computer. However, the computer that I have access to the regrets on is the one that I'm currently sharing the screen on. Thank you. Um, So be resolved to ratify regrets from Liam Feng, Archaeology Counselor, SF Verge Counselor, Bachelor of Environment Counselor, Psychology Counselor, and the Philosophy Student Meeting for the October 18th Council Meeting. I am seeking unanimous consent for these regrets. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent, this motion is carried. Moving on to the consent agenda. Be it resolved to adopt the consent agenda by unanimous consent. Um, matters are asking for the minutes. Um, be resolved to file and receive the following council and committee meeting minutes. The FAST committee meeting from September 8th. Okay. I am being told I do not need to read out what all these committee meetings minutes were. So I am seeking unanimous consent to um, pass the consent agenda. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent. Hearing no dissent, this motion is carried. On to section five, adoption of the agenda. Um, be resolved to adopt the agenda as presented. Um, I move. Would anyone like to second? Internal. Internal seconds. Um, Ashley, you have a list? Yeah. Sounds good. You move it, I assume. I second this motion.
I'm um, going to pass the amendment by unanimous consent. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent, this amendment is carried. Moving on to the adoption of the agenda. Um, also passing it by unanimous consent. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent, this motion is carried. Now, before we go on camera, let's, is the health science counselor um, back in the meeting? I believe that is a yes, as I just readmitted them. Um, we have no reports from committees, I believe. So moving on to um, Priyanka, you have a list. Hey, um, it's Nancy. I hope you guys can hear me. But uh, Priyanka and I didn't see that we had an in-camera portion. And so we just want to let you guys know that we are currently with two members of the UBC GSS and then a member from the Alliance of BC Students because we're on our way to the ferry. So I don't think Priyanka and I could be in the actual in-camera session. So, um, cause I think that's against the rule. So when you guys are putting in your breakout rooms, you might have to just leave us out of it. So leave Priyanka's thing out of it cause we have other people in here. Good to know. I'm, we're just figuring out the breakout rooms now. I'll then pass, we'll then move on to the next agenda item. Thank you so much for your patience. This is my first time chairing council. So we'll now move on to item 8.1, motion to move in camera for the remainder of the meeting due to a legal liability concern that needs to be discussed. I move. Does, does anyone second? Internal. Internal seconds. Seeking to pass this by unanimous consent. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent, this motion is carried. We will move in camera shortly. Thank you, everyone. I will now motion to go X camera. May I have a seconder? Say, say, seconds. Seeking unanimous consent to go X camera. Hearing no dissent, the motion is carried. We are now moving on to discussion items. 
Section 11, 11.1. Referring to the SSS releasing a draft letter supporting the TSSU and student tuition refunds submitted by the MBB counselor. Before we get into the discussion, I would like to clarify on the rules being used for this discussion as we anticipate a lively debate tonight on as we anticipate a lively debate, we will be implementing a two lists per person. Oh. As we anticipate a lively debate tonight, we'll be having two lists per person on each item at most. And these lists will be up to 120 seconds at most. We will not be um, using direct responses tonight, but if you have a point of information, put it in as a point of information and it will be recognized. As such, this is another Reminder that counselors have higher speaking priority over staff and students. So in case you are a student who is here and you are wondering why your list has not yet been called, it's just because there's a counselor ahead of you. Don't worry, we will get to you. Um, I think we will, is it not my list? Sorry. No, I haven't yet. I have. I'm sorry. I before we start, I have a statement to read out from our president, Liam Feng, who is not able to join us tonight. He is taking an engineering midterm, so we wish him the best of luck on that. The statement reads that he does not support the TSSU at all and would advise that the letter focus only on supporting student tuition refund. I am, I as the MBB counselor would like to motion to amend the letter as written to include two new portions. They shall read at the end of the letter, one that says, in line with the SFSS's living wage and union's rights policy, we support the TSSU's right to strike. And then, oh, Io, you have a point of order. Is it, wouldn't this be for the new business item? In regards to the letter? Well, there isn't one. Interesting. Retract that, it's fine. Yeah. It's currently not a new business. So after the any potential amendments, the letter will be moved to be released from the floor. Um, the amendment would be as stated in line with the SFSS's living wage and union rights policy. We support the TSSU's right to strike. This would be in the body of the letter. And then in the call to action section, we would add an additional bullet point saying we call on SFU to end the strike as quickly as possible. Can I get a seconder? Yes, sir. Now opening up debate on the amendment to the letter. So lists previous to the one that was just uh, sent. No, you're on amendment. It's a new discussion. 
amendment, which is a new discussion. After I opened discussion, first person to list was Adriana. So all lists after that will be recognized. Thank you, and Adriana, you may go. Yeah, I'll take a brief moment of my time just to mention anyone who set a list, if you want to speak on the amendment, got a list again. Okay, I'll continue. Um, I support this amendment wholeheartedly. Um, obviously, the petition is not organized by the SFS. I'm not suggesting that it is. But the petition for the exact points covered by the amendment plus the tuition refund, practically verbatim, um, has received, I think, 11% of all undergrads have signed it. Um, at this point, it's been out for seven days. I think this is that this amendment speaks for the will of the students. I think it is careful, but actively taking um, a very like well thought out, well reasoned and active stance and I support it entirely. Um, I think to just hit the different points, the focus um, should remain on the fact that A, one fact of this is the tuition refund. We'll not focus on that right now because this is the amendment. Um, but for this specific amendment, I think for counselors who are perhaps a little bit more pensive on this, a little bit more reticent, focusing not on a sort of like myopic hoorah moral reason to support the TSSU, even if I personally do see a moral reason to support the TSSU and their right to strike, but the fact that it is within our issues policies. This is following the official stance of the SFSS that we have written into our bylaws. It might not be specifically bylaws, but either way is written into the fabric of the SFSS and as such is a responsible follow through of our policies that we have passed and maintained and stood by. I think that's all I'm gonna have for my first list. So I will cede the rest of my time. Thank you, Adriana. Just as a quick response to the point of order from the chemistry counselor, the supporting the TSSU is not currently in the letter on the tuition refund this amendment would add in a line stating the support of the our support of the TSSU's right to strike. Now moving on to the chemistry counselors list, which I believe is next. Uh hi. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Uh, so the Chemistry Student Society has kept a neutral stance on the TSSU since their vote to strike earlier this year. During the timeline of the TSSU strike, there has been events which pertains to harmful actions against chemistry students who have paid to receive an education. These events include verbal abuse towards chemistry students, physical blocking and, and routes to class, uh, physical disruption during class times, and abuse of towards chemistry uh, faculty workers. In the presence of the chemistry students, such actions have made chemistry students uncomfortable with the way they receive education. While CSS understands and supports the, uh, the cause behind TSSU strikes in light of these events, TSSU has been made it difficult for CSS to stand with them. As a result, Chemistry Student Society condemns these harmful actions towards chemistry students and does not support the TSSU job action. Thank you, Chemistry Counselor. I will now move on to the next list, which is Evan. Uh, yeah, um, I support this amendment. Um, as Adriana mentioned, uh, the in our policies, it states that this is how we would respond to issues such as this is supporting um supporting other unions essentially um and i think that we have to remember that as a union we have to stand in solidarity with other unions um i think that we also have to remember that strike action is never meant to be convenient and it is always going to be disruptive if it wasn't disruptive it wouldn't be effective unfortunately um i don't promote harassing anyone um but that's just you know how i feel about strike action
action. Um, but yeah, I support this amendment. I think that even if you don't support TSSU's cause, you can at least support us encouraging SFU to end this strike as soon as possible. That way we all get back to school. Making this amendment to add this line gets us closer to uh, closer to convincing SFU to end the strike, essentially. So if you don't support the union, you can still support this because it still is in your favor. I'm done. Thank you, Evan. The next list is my own. I will move on to that. I just... In... I've been informed that there was a point of order from IO. Um, okay, so I asked because I listed and I was told that this is an amendment, but we are not in any motion, so there would be no discussion on an amendment in the first place. So I'm very confused as to what's happening right now. We are. If I'm not mistaken, the discussion item would not incur a vote, meaning in, in, within discussion items, no changes would be made to any items that would be released. We are in a motion as I had moved to amend the letter and the criminology counselor seconded that um, amendment. So we're just debating the amendment. We debate the amendments in the motion, not in the discussion items. The discussion items are separate. If, um, what, what were they called? The rules would have to be suspended. We would have to add the, the amendment of the letter into new business in which it would be voted on. Because at the end of the day, it's still a vote that needs to be held for that to be added onto the letter. Thank you, Io PI from Adriana. Well, this is not directly a motion because we are in a discussion item. By that logic, we can discuss an amendment. We can't vote on it if we're in a discussion item, but from that, we can take that broad consensus into amending it onto the motion when the motion is tabled. So it is so worthy discussion. Yeah, no, but if we're discussing an amendment, then there shouldn't be two separate lists. You are right on that. Um, can I see clarification from Cindy on this? Um, yeah, I was correct on that for the discussion. You can just openly discuss. And then if the, once there's a new business item, we can go from there. What you can do is uh, have the discussion of edits, if that's what you want to do. And then uh, when you have your suspend the rules to have a new business item, then you can pass it as amended or pass it, pass it with edits. Sounds good. I apologize for the confusion. I will now um, go back to all the lists from the initial discussion where it was listed and then move on to the lists that are from after. Um, Io, it's your list now. Thanks. Uh, just want to start the timer. OK. I understand that it is within our issues policy to um, support strikes, but I also I also feel that the main priority of this union is to support the students as well. And there is a fine line between disruptive and abusive. The I'm pretty sure most everyone in this council, if not everyone, has seen the video circulating about the behavior in the chemistry class. And at some point when you're saying that SFU is responsible for disrupting education, and then that's the kind of thing you do in a professor's class. A professor who is, by the way, the science undergrad representative on the faculty of science, it's it's kind of, it's, it's, it's two-faced. Because at the end of the day, he's not only that, he's also a professor that is highly regarded by his students, as well as a professor that has made many concessions in regards to this whole debacle. Um, while I honestly support the movement, I do not support behavior like that 
behavior like the drumming that happened in front of the sub, despite the fact that the sub was supposedly not supposed to be picketed. And a lot of things have been stopped. We've had to stop a lot of our services or reduce them in order to accommodate this. So whilst I understand this want for everyone to support, I have to sympathize with the chemistry student union as well as any other student union who feels a bit skeptical about stepping in as an unbiased supporter. We have a point of information from Adriana. Just wanted to note, um, just so that everybody knows, after the incident regarding Professor Levznov's class, discussions within the TSSU and various undergrads and support and strike committee, different things, um, we have decided on a change of tactics and the actions that occurred in Professor Levznov's class will not be repeated because it was not a successful um, act. It didn't help further the strike in that moment. So that incident will never be repeated and internal policies and tactics have been shifted. Thank you. I believe the next list on the agenda on the list is mine, then Thomas's, then Jules. Don't worry, I have not forgotten about you. And then Abby. So speaking in defense of my amendment, in the first part of it, the statement for in support of the right of the TSSU to strike, it is in support of the right of the TSSU to strike, not in support of the right to do what happened in Professor Lesnar's class. As the MBB representative, we have most of the MBB first year class was probably in that room, and it showed a massive disruption and unprofessionalism or disprofessionalism on the part of the TSSU, as Adriana had mentioned. And I am glad that the tactics will not be repeated. However, I believe that there is still some interest from science students, whether there'll be a official apology for this disruption or anything of that sort, whether the TSSU counselor or OSC counselor can respond on that. Um, I, I would be curious. Um, and then just back to the amendment on hand, it is supporting the right to strike, which is important and is also in line with our previous policies. It is not in support of what happened there. It's generally a statement in support of the movement, which as I, you yourself had said, you are in support of. So I hope we can all agree to support this amendment. Yes. Uh, to my understanding, there is no apology that will be issued. However, there is a promise that the incident itself will not be repeated. Um, that does not mean that disruption is not part of a strike. That does not mean anything else. But the sort of unseriousness and unprofessionalism that was witnessed there and the sort of chaos of it will not be replicated. Um, in any future um, moments of disruption, the intention is to calmly provide information, um, talk about tuition refund, and then exit. And this plan has been approved by SFU security and is considerably different in tone and in tactics than what occurred then. So I can I promise you that those tactics will not be repeated. There is no apology that will be offered. Okay, moving on to the next list, which 
as more counselors have listed, I apologize, Bills and Abby. The next list is Thomas. Thomas retracted. All right. Thomas has retracted. The next list is um, uh, Andreas. Okay, just for clarification, are we? Can I can I speak about like the the statement and the letter itself, or are we talking specifically about the amendment? Um, up to you. You can talk about the up to you. Sorry. It's up to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to emphasize um what Io kind of mentioned before that I feel that the statement I support the statement and the amendment. And I feel that no further this no, no further the statement should be modified to condemn or support actions. As it is, it's good, and it's it's focused on undergraduate students, which at the end of the day, is why the SF, like why the SFSS operates for, for who they operate for, and that should be our focus. That's who are we representing at like the end of the day. Like it's we're not representing the TS like the TAs and stuff. Even though anyone can support it, like independent of the opinions of everyone. It's just that the focus should be the students, the undergrad bo undergraduate body. And I feel it's pretty solid right now. And yeah, I just wanted to basically support that. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, I believe we have no further list for counselors. So. Oh, we have a list from Ashley up next. Yeah, I just wanted to do uh, a bit of VP internally here since we are just in a discussion item. Uh, I would actually like to move to suspend the rules to add on the actual motion itself, uh, such that if this is an amendment that seems some counselors uh, would like to implement, some not, uh, but we're actually able to officially vote and discuss that. So I'd like to suspend the rules uh, to amend on a motion uh, titled approval of uh, the name of the letter, which I don't actually have on me at this particular moment. Um, oop, uh, it is titled oh, uh, press, state and press Statement Tuition Refund. Uh, so the motion will be titled approval of uh, as of assess press statement, tuition refund. Um, I will move to suspend the rules, which requires a two thirds majority. Is there a seconder for this motion? CSA. CSA seconds. Cautiously seeking unanimous consent on this motion. Hearing no dissent, this motion is passed. Moving on to um, can I see clarification on Adriana's list? A number of them? <laughs> this is the second list? Okay. Um, Adriana, your second list. Hi, yeah. Um, we've been talking a lot about about sort of like specific actions that have been taken and sort of like our issues policies. There's one other facet that I kind of wanted to touch on that I think is like important consideration, not regarding like um, as much the clause about supporting the TSSE's right to strike, but more about the condemnation of the university and that clause specifically, because I think it hasn't seen a lot of light. There's one specific notion that I kind of wanted to talk a bit about that I learned um, through going record through records of the TSSU and that it's been approved as a correct number by their legal um, that I think a lot of people aren't very aware of. And it's around grading specifically in pre-strike times. Um, I think most of us have written a two to 4,000 word paper. That's pretty university standard. Um, I think the broad assumption that I've gotten talking to undergrads in terms of how long that takes to grade 
is like an hour to two hours. Obviously, like we don't have a super clear picture on how that looks, but that's a fairly reasonable assumption. Um, guesses for how long TAs are given is an important notion within that too. And generally people guess a little shorter, obviously people are on strike. So there's an assumption there. The real number that a lot of TAs get at this institution um, is one to three minutes under SFU's current policies. And the reason I stress this is not so that everyone's like, hoorah, yay, strike. Right now, before the strike, before deals have been made, we are not getting the education that we deserve. SFU is already shortchanging us. They are already threatening to increase our tuition. We've all seen the referendum posted. As much as this is having a disruption, that disruption has been continuous. Yep. I think anyone who's been at this institution for more than two years can tell you how much feedback has been reduced. Thank you for your list, Adriana. I believe we are moving on to next list, which if I am not mistaken is Jules. You will have two minutes to speak. Okay, so I'm an undergrad. Um, I'm not a member of TSSU. Um, this is my first time in one of these meetings. And touching on some prior points, I just want to say that to support the students is to support the strike, essentially the ending of the strike. And how they end the strike is by disruptions. So I actually disrupted my own class, and we were immensely successful. And you don't hear anyone talk about it on Reddit because it was successful. And we use very different tactics. Um, future disruptions will be held that will be entirely different focuses more on educating students and helping them be aware of what's going on and why crossing the picket lines is causing the strike to drag on um, the disruption everyone saw on reddit was actually one of several um, it won't be repeated it was impulsive it was unfortunate i would not have gone about it that way um, but it is what it is now and we're trying to to move on. Um, I know a lot of people, there's a lot of students who really care about Lesnov. It sounds like he's a really great professor. And I think in his mind, he feels like he is supporting students by continuing to hold lectures. But the counterintuitive aspect and the ironic aspect is that by doing this, he's actually dragging on the strike because the more groups that show solidarity with the strikers, the quicker the strike ends. Because T um, TAs, RAs, they're gonna be striking regardless. So the quicker people put their support behind, the quicker it ends. That supports students full stop. Um, so I'm very much in favor of disruptions. I'm in favor of doing them respectfully. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you much. Um, we're moving on to the next list, which is, um, just admit the counselor, the next list is Evan, I believe. Um, Henry, can you clarify that? It's the next list. Evan is the next list. You have two minutes. Um, yeah, I just wanted to reiterate the fact that I really think that you guys should support the amendment and the letter, even if you don't support the TSSU, like no matter what your opinion is, no matter what the opinion of the student body is right now with the letter that's drafted, it just says that we support um, having, it essentially says we want this to end as soon as possible and nowhere, the letter doesn't say, and neither does the amendment say explicitly that TSSU is supported it's just encouraging the SFU to bargain and for this to end. Even if you don't support TSSU, if you want this to be over, I think it's really important that you support this because extending the strike doesn't help us. Not supporting it doesn't help anyone. It just like makes this last longer. I really think that if you're truly concerned about the student body, um, you would support, uh, Not, I'm not speaking to anyone specifically. If, if someone is truly concerned about the student body, they would support this motion because it ends the strike sooner. 
the outcome of the strike might be better for TSSU, but supporting it, I mean, but not supporting it because you're mad at TSSU probably won't end this any sooner. Um, and it could extend the strike longer. I'm done. Thank you, Evan. We will move on to the next list, which is um, IO's second list on this item. IO, you may go. Okay. Um... Okay, I see a lot of let's look past this and let's look past that. But when the letter for this whole thing was being drafted and there was an understanding that there were some hiccups that we couldn't overlook in drafting this letter, there wasn't a lot of look past that. So it was a lot of condemnation of counsel of counselors and executives for actions that they couldn't really change, I guess. But I'm just gonna put that aside. I guess my main issue here is that at the end of the day, like we're not going to sit here and pretend to, like for a lot of students, this is a major priority for a lot of international students. If they can get their if they can get their classes with or without their papers being marked, as long as they can get their classes, as long as their grades are somehow done, they want to go to the classes regardless, especially considering how much we pay in terms of just being here in general. So the idea that the idea that disrupting classes is best for students doesn't fly with me I know I haven't had classes I know I haven't had things marked and at the end of the day it's not there are teachers who handle those things by themselves and at the very same time there are professors who even if they can't mark the grades they at least want to make sure that you're getting something out of your money so simply going to a class performing those actions helps next to no one and at the end of the day it's going to only affect stuff like this because then they now we're having an argument as to whether or not to put a simple statement of support onto our tuition refund um, request. And that's only happening because we because something like this happened. So as long as we can all hold ourselves in check, as long as we can actually consult the student body before doing any actions that we arbitrarily claim will be to their benefit, we I think we'll be fine. Thank you, Ayo. We'll be moving on to the Next list, which is next list is Abby. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Uh, I got three points to make in two minutes, so I'm going to make this quick. First of all, Sam, I'm going to call on you to start counting any chat activity that is not Robert's Rules related as a list. Uh, we're making the list messy and making it hard to follow the speakers list. And we have big blobs of text that should be taking place during regular discussions. I'm calling on you to count those as lists going forward so we can speed this up. Second, um, I have some comments. I'm going to be talking about this. I think we should pass the letter regardless of whether this amendment passes or not. I'm indifferent to the amendment. Uh, I think this letter should pass. It's important for the SFSS to get that statement out and show um, that we want our undergrads to get their money back for buying a pro faulty product is the way I'd put it. Um, because we did not get what we paid for. Um, my next point is regarding what we were talking about a little bit earlier, as in the incident in the classroom. Uh, I'd like to let people know that Danny Lesnov was the individual who got the PhD students their funding and has been pushing for master's students to get more funding. So the person who was harassed the hardest was the person fighting hardest for the people he was harassed by. I'll let that sink in. Um, and I have a question for either the TSSU rep or um, the OOC rep. Will the student who was so disrespectful for the person fighting for them be reprimanded in any way, shape, or form uh, for his actions, or was he reprimanded in any way, shape, or form for his actions? Thank you. Thank you for your list, Abby. Um, TSSU, do you have a response? I will direct it to Adriana instead. At current time, after having his home address, personal email, and website doxed on Reddit, uh, he has been on mental health leave and hasn't been on the lines. Um, after his mental health leave is done, as a result of what happened in the aftermath of that video, we will see. Sounds good. Um... 
Our next list is uh, Marwin from Psychology. Uh, hi, everybody. So um, I want to just say that I'm fully... And to clarify, before we start, I will be counting any further chat activity as a list. And so please consider whether your two-sentence response wants to count for a two-minute list. Can I start? Uh, so uh, if you want to set the, start the timer, Evan. Yes, I am allowed to do that. Yeah. Uh, As you are making a statement in front of the meeting. Okay, yeah. It's in the chat. Yeah, yeah. It's the same so, thing as you're speaking. There's not much of a difference between the two. Can I speak? We won't count emojis as a emojis in response, but that getting a little yes, the laughing face emoji. Um, moving on to the next list from Marwan. Okay, yeah. So um, I'm in full support of this you letter. Have your um, two minutes. Yep, I'm in full support of this letter as the psychology student president. I've been working closely with TSSU in terms of making sure that um, the petition does go out and uh, students are seeing seeing a change within the university to better improve the situation that we're all in at the moment. Uh, I do not personally approve of the actions that have happened when it comes in regards to the class, uh, but I do support the fact that this letter does support undergraduate students considering that many have gone um, particularly harmed by this strike, including international students and marginalized students, such as myself, who are dealing with many other pressures on top of the fact of actually being here in Canada with the vari variety of different financial and um, cultural barriers that I must face because of, my, because of our families. So this letter should definitely be approved, is what I believe, um, particularly since the whole point of this union is to support undergrad students. And so for not to say anything about trying to help undergrad students or making the situation better in any way would just be a harm towards inter to students overall. And so I believe that this letter should move, uh, be passed, hopefully. Uh, but that's pretty much it for me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Marwan. Um... Can I, is Priyanka and Nancy, is lost meant to be, lost is meant to be list? Um, that is the next list pursuant to what I had said earlier. Never mind. Um, yeah. Next list is Hi. Priyanka. Yeah. Um, so I apologize if I, I apologize in advance if I repeat anything that's been said. Me and Nancy were kind of like in and out of the meeting. Just, we just got onto the ferry. Um, but essentially, from my understanding of the conversation thus far, I am in support of this letter getting released today, as well as the amendment proposed by Sam. Um, we are here to serve our undergraduate students, and I think calling for refund, which is something we've been hearing from students, we heard it at the last meeting, we're seeing it online in discussions, we're here to support them, I think this letter does that, as well as the amendment, um, calling on SFU to end the strike and placing that pressure um, is beneficial i think in the long run in just this entire situation um yeah i think i my main reason i just want to list is that i am in support of this letter um sorry this wasn't the most articulate speech but uh from the discussion so far this is where i'm at thank you priyanka we will move on to andreas this is your last list I'll keep it brief. I just wanted to fully support Marwan's statement, the PSU's pre PSU president recruitment. I fully agree with it. And I sympathize with the fact that I'm an, also an international student. And just, I just wanted to quickly highlight that doing simple math, which like or like per unit, international students pay 1.1K per unit. If you multiply that by 120, which is what you probably will end up when you graduate is like around $132,000. That is without counting every other expenses 
the university in the university and in cost of living. So every single minute of education for international students specifically matter. And by having all these classes suspended, definitely the society has to react on those students who are the ones we're representing and focus specifically on them. That's it. Thanks so much, Andres. Um, list from Franchelli. Um, after this, we will have further debate within the motion itself when we get to the new business item. Um, Adriana, you are now over your listed number. Um, yeah, so well, that will count from your list in the next item. And sorry to talk over mm -hmm. you. Sorry. Oh, all good. Um, I, I was just gonna say you. that having TSSU in my name doesn't really um, I don't know, help you guys out there. But I'm also an undergrad international student trying to do two jobs and also trying to do schoolwork. So regardless of what people have like, people have said this already, but regardless of what you think about the strike, the letter, if you get a chance to read it, it just really mentions about um, the aspect of getting the tuition refund for the classes that we were not able to attend at the first place. And the second thing that the amendment that was brought up was for explicitly stating that as a student society, we support the right to strike as much as we support the right to speak. So I, I think that's, I don't know why that is the right to strike is a is a discussion anymore. And yeah, I mean, the letter explicitly states that we need, we are asking for the university to pay the tuition back, especially for international students, we pay so much and not being able to attend those classes and and it's not because of the TAs. We were not being paid enough. We don't get paid enough, but I totally understand if that's none of your business. But I think the part of the business is that you are paying so much um, and you should get the education that you're paying for. Yeah, that's that's my time, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, moving on to the next list. Um, Maya, that will go into your list for the next item. Um, are there any further lists on this or can we move on to the new business item where we will move on to moving the motion then into official debate on the motion to release the letter? Seeing no further list, I move on to item 12.1, which is in the chat. Let me just find it. Uh, motion approval of the SFSS's press statement, tuition refund, whereas the executive committee has drafted a statement, press statement, tuition refund, whereas the SFS supports and advocates for our membership, the undergraduate students of SFU, and our policies, be it resolved to approve and release Press statement, tuition refund. I move. Does anyone care to second? Internal. Internal seconds. Um, I list. Uh, I, I list. Um, I move to amend the letter to add a section that says to add a line. Sorry guys, let me pull it up on my phone again. I move to amend the letter to include a line 
that says, in line with the SFSS's living wage and union rights policy, we support the TSSU's right to strike and to add an additional call to action, stating, we call on SFU to end the strike as quickly as possible. I move. Does anyone care to second? I second. SSU. I heard ISSU first, ISSU seconds. Um, on to debate on the uh, opening up for lists on the debate of the amendment. So this is from the amendment on, from following from there, I, I will take your list first and any lists following Ashley's cool comment in the chat will be related to the amendment. Then we will return to lists from before. Uh, okay, just clarify, just to clarify this, is is this for your amendment or just to amend anything onto? Because uh, my list involves an amendment that was given to me by the Geography Student Union rep. So just this, to clarify, is this a general? Is this like on? Is this discussion on the letter or is this to? Is this on your amendment specifically? This is on my amendment specifically. Okay, my list is for the letter in general. Okay, so. Uh, so I would do it after I would do it after um, the vote on your amendment has gone through. Yes, you will. Um, are there any lists on the motion on the amendment itself? Minus. Adriana, your. Adriana, this is your finalist for this item. Awesome, thank you. Uh, I'm just speaking from Sam's computer because my phone is bugging out. Um, I would like to move to call the question. We talked about the amendment for like an hour. I think there's no real point to continue talking about it. I feel like we've covered every aspect pretty thoroughly. Uh, if anyone does want to continue talking about it and has a particularly salient point they want to make, I totally support that. But just sort of taking scope of where things are at for you and for sort of like procedural care, I think that it is right at this moment to call a question and move to vote. All right, thanks. That's all. As the but if people raise their hand. I am going to seek unanimous consent to call the question. If you dissent, please raise your hand. I am I am seeing no hands. Um, I, okay. Oh, I'm seeing no hands. So this um, question is called unanimously. Um, so seeking unanimous consent on this amendment to the letter. If you dissent, please raise your hand. And if you dissent on the amendment to the letter, Please raise your hand. Point of information from IO. What are we voting on? We are voting on the amendment to the letter right now. The amendment that I proposed. OK. Uh, chemistry dissented. Um, chemistry raise their hand. Do you dissent or abstain? Just to clarify again, this is on the amendment, specifically the amendment stating in line with the TSSU, specifically the amendment adding in line with SFU's living wage policy and union rights policy, we support the TSSU's right to strike and the call to action we call on SFU to end the strike as quickly as possible. 
Again, is there anyone in dissent? Chemistry, can you please clarify? Chemistry's dissent is noted. The, the motion passes. We are now onto the main speakers list. IO has a list. Thanks. Uh, just wanted to uh, draw your student union asked drip. The Council for Driver Student Union asked me to amend this. Yes, the Council for Driver Student Union asked that this also be amendment on amended onto the letter. That the SFS has equally demands that the SSU respects students and professors' rights to cross picket lines or attend classes without harassment or unnecessary disruption. I received, I I see the rest of my time. Thank you, Io. Um, so this is an amendment that you are moving? Yes. Can I get a seconder for this amendment? CSA. CSA seconds this amendment, opening it up to debate, following lists in the chat, following the amendment that Io has stated. List from Adriana. Hi. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to address Io's point and say that um, if you guys want to put it on, you can put it on. But just so that people are aware, that is part of the explicit policy of the TSSU and has been publicly stated on many occasions of the TSSU. Students will not be harassed or subject to abuse or subject to blocking from classes at any point. Um, I personally see the amendment as unnecessary because all of that is absolutely supported by and already a stance of the TSSU and is explicitly promised and maintained as such. That is official policy and official tactics. Um, people can proceed as such. I ultimately uh, am not in favor of this amendment um, because it's already publicly known. And I think it is um, redundant and only serves to further a sort of contradictory rhetoric to the rest of the letter. I also do you have a point of order a point of information or is this a or do you just want your um direct response format to be considered a list. I'm willing for a direct response to reduce to 30 seconds if need be. Uh just I guess it's just kind of um I just it's my argument just more or less here is if out regardless of its redundancy, I get it I don't think it's such a bad thing for it to be put in the letter. And I would also like to repeat I was not the one who drafted this it was drafted by the geography student union rep who had to leave and 
Ergo asked me to help him amend this on there. So regardless of whose idea it is, it's an idea that's put here. Whether or not the council believes that it's worth bringing to the letter is the council's opinion. Thank you, Ayo. That will count as your first list on this item. And now we will move on to Prendrali's list. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna build up on what like Adriana mentioned a few, few seconds ago. Um, so I'm I'm really unsure as to what we understand as unnecessary disruption. Because a strike is supposed to be some sort of disruption. It is supposed to shake up, shake the things up. Um, so I'm not really sure about the words being used here. And also like without harassment, I think this has been brought up again and again that we do understand where that aspect of harassment is coming from. But I don't I don't really think or see the importance of having the words like unnecessary and stuff like that. Like what, what what are we trying to do here with this letter then? We are just self-contradicting ourselves or something? I don't know. Thank you for your list. Um, moving on to the next list, which is Emmanuel. Uh, yeah, I just want to second. I think this has been mentioned. Yeah, I think it's again uh, probably redundant to add that in there. Um, it's also I think also assuming putting that in there assumes that um, that's already not being done. So I feel like it's um, very much so redundant to have that in there, um, as though it's not already in their mode of operation. So yeah, I don't think there's a need for that to be in there. Thank you, Emmanuel. Moving on to next list, which is Ashley. Hi, I'm a... gonna ask Sam to mute himself. Are you good? Can you use my mic? Are we working now? Yes, okay, cool. Um. I would like to okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to disagree with you, Emmanuel. Uh, it may be redundant. I sure hope that this is being followed. Um, but we've heard many testimony that it hasn't been. Uh, I think this example that chemistry brought forward is, is a good one. And I would rather make it very explicit and clear that the SSS does not support harassing professors or students. Uh, if the TSSU is following that, perfect, awesome. I have no problem. But it might as well be settled out. Um, it may be redundant, but just in case it isn't, uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry and assert that the SSS is against harassment. Um, as for Pranjali's point about um, the word unnecessary disruption, yeah, I agree. I think it's are supposed to be disrupting, but disruptive in particular kinds of way. You want to be disrupting the SSU, not undergraduate students. Um, maybe the word unnecessary could be ambiguous. I'm amenable to removing parts about unnecessary disruption, focusing more on the harassment and allowing students to. Uh, across the picket line if they so choose so. Um, but either way, I would like to make it firm that the SMS is against harassing many students and professors on this matter. And <laughs> why why bother not saying it? You might as well say it if it is true. We are now moving on to Thomas's list. Um, Thomas, your two minutes. All right, thank you, Sam. Um, first thing I wanna say is I don't understand why people are refusing to amend this due to redundancy. It's not really making sense to me because I think this quite clearly states um, 
what we're going for. We don't, of course, we want the tuition refund, but we also want to make it clear that students and professors have the right to cross picket lines and attend classes if they wish to without harassment or unnecessary disruption. I think we can even possibly change it if people have a problem with the exact words of disruption. Maybe it's not clear enough. We could maybe add more clarity to that. So as in like not disrupting classes or maybe not going around, uh, like for instance, picketing the sub uh, and like banging to create noise for, for people who are trying to study and trying to focus. Um, but I, I would like to add that I think we should really go with this uh, amendment because honestly, we're supposed to we're supposed to represent undergraduate students and their concerns, right? And most students, like especially international students, because we also have a lot of international students here as too. We pay thousands of dollars to be here and to study here and to live here, like separate from their families, exactly. separate from completely different culture than, than what they grew up in, right? A lot of students. And it's really not fair for them to be paying and going through all this all this, and not be able to attend their classes and um, and uh, not have their, their things marked. And uh, it's even worse when you're paying thousands of dollars for a class and you have people coming around and disrupting them, you know? So I think this is a motion we should go forward with and that this should be amended. Thank you. We, Evan, thanks for your comment, but we both thank you for your list, but we can't discuss legal outside of camera. So that is that for there. We'll be moving on to our next list. Io, your second list. Okay, I didn't think the list was going to be this soon, but um, okay, uh, I don't know. I hear people saying that we should remove the without harassment and necessary disruption, and I just feel that our priority as in regards to focusing on the undergraduate student body, I I think it's a quite a fair clause to include there. Um, simply, it's not, we're not saying that we're not saying that we withdraw our support for TSSU. It simply says here that our support has some conditions on to it, which as I'm fairly certain every support does. At the same time, I also fully believe that it's only fair that we also address students, you know, uh, misgivings in regards to the issue. And at the end of the day, while we want to support one organization, we can't choose not to support the organization that voted us into the positions in, that we have in the first place, that being the undergraduate student body who have made it very clear that a lot of them do not agree with how they have been treated regardless of what's happening in the, um, regardless of what's happening in the upper echelon of the, of the school governing system. So um, I don't think it's redundant. I don't think it's unnecessary. I think that we might as well show our students that regardless of how our stance as a union to another union is, we also have to show them that we still care about them as well, since they are supposed to be our primary target of care and need um, satisfaction. I'll see you the rest of my time. Thank you, Ayo. Our next list is Henry. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I agree with Io as well. Uh, even if it is redundant, it is a good safety just just to put on. Since if the TSSU uh, like says that they will not be, uh, condoning those actions in the video or any harassments, then they shouldn't 
disagree that we're also amending this on the letter as well. And just to refer back to the TSSU reps, uh, confusion about harassment. The thing is, I agree that change does not come silently. You know, the thing is, there is, there will be some disruption from, but from what I have seen and from what I have experienced is that I normally get misinformation and unnecessary harassment when I try to do cross. And the thing is, when I do try to cross, I'm often told that I cannot cross and I'm typically physically blocked from crossing and told to show my student ID when I'm pretty sure that's not what they're supposed to say. What they're supposed to say is this area is picketed, it's your right to cross, and they can share me all the details about it. But a lot of TSSU picketers, there are some bad apples amongst them. And I would want to say that I support the cause, but not the movement necessarily. But I do agree that we should amend this onto the letter itself, because if we do amend this, then it's no harm for anyone, to be honest. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Henry. Our next list is Adriana. Hi. I mean, all right, if we are going to go with this, we'll move on from that particular point. I think that I would desire to amend it further. My main um, qualm with stating it as such, and my main thing that I think can be addressed by a further amendment instead of a redaction of part of this, is the rhetorical element of it. Obviously, harassment and these things are not okay. And that is within TSSU's policies, and I think it's fine to state that. The issue is, and the issue that I have is when you state that one side of a conflict of any kind, in this case a strike, is should not be harassing or disrupting students and say nothing about the way that things are happening on the other side, that is an inherently accusatory action. That is like the baseline of political rhetoric. So rather than striking this amendment, rather than just voting against it, what I propose instead is that we advocate for a further amendment. Basically, um, that the SFSS further does not condone any acts of violence or harassment against picketers on picket lines um, on within the SFU community. Um, to give a little bit of context with the rest of my time, as someone who has been on the picket lines, we filed, I think, between 15 to 20 reports of attempted vehicular manslaughter personally, um, both from faculty, staff, and undergraduate students. I've been attempted to run, been run over with a car three times. Um, faculty has also arrived in the lines to punch picketers. And I'm not saying that's representative of students. I'm not saying that's representative of faculty. Things are nuanced and things are complicated. But I think if we are going to proceed with adding this amendment and adding this clause to things that should not need to be stated, but we are choosing to state them for the sake of thoroughness, we should also apply the same even-handedness than that um, even SFU itself does as well. That's all. Thank you, Adriana. I think they prefer to move. Okay. The OOC counselor moves to amend the amendment. Is there a second for this amendment as a second to be as stated in her list? I second that. Sorry, if my internet is lagging. Sorry, I. My volume was down. I didn't catch that. That is the TSSU counselor who's seconding it? Yes. Sounds good. Um, I will now open up the chat for debate on this motion.
Moving on to our first list from Io. Uh, sure, I guess. Um, I guess on my end, probably it's just a case of I don't see why it has to be part of this particular clause. It could be its own thing. It could be probably the precursor to the original amendment that Sam made. Um, I just feel that this clause on its own should stand by itself in terms of the idea of that the SFU doesn't condone any SF the SFSS doesn't condone any actions lawfully, uh, legally or illegally that affect the how do I put this that affect the strike and win. And then this stands on its own that the SOSS equally demands that the SOSU respects students, professors' rights to cross brackets or attend classes without harassment or necessary disruption. And I also see a lot of, like, I guess, confusion around the concept of necessary disruption and the picket lines, the drumming of the picket lines, stuff like that, I feel would be good examples of necessary disruption. The stopping of students and hounding them about which classes they're going to, I feel would fall under unnecessary disruption, um, just to clear that up for anyone. So I guess my idea is this doesn't exactly have to be, it's an amendment, doesn't exactly have to be uh, attached to this clause, can be attached to the precursor clause brought up by Sam. But I feel this clause should be allowed to stand on its own. I see the rest of my time. So there's just a little bit of confusion on my end about who had the next list. Adriana, it's your list now. Um, I am I am amenable to Io's condition that he stated. Um, I'm willing to consider this a further secondary amendment. Um, I appreciate that he's in support of amending this after the previous amendment. Um, but I am fine to retract my amendment and return to Io's original amendment. And we'll be adding it again afterwards after that amendment is voted on. Can I seek clarification from the seconder that they are also retracting this motion? That would be Henry from Criminology. Retracting the amendment. No. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. It was TSSU. Yeah, I was just going to ask if we can like write in the chat what the amendments are because the chat is a little bit crazy. So I'm not sure what, what we are removing and what we're adding here. We would... Okay, we would... What we would be doing would be um actually you have a point of information okay i was i will see it to you to say oh, okay. um i was just gonna add so i should just speak to your mind yeah because it doesn't yeah. Um, i was going to explain what's happening so essentially we have the main motion here which is the left sam then amended it to add on uh, the bit about putting a right to strike Io then moved to make a further amendment. Uh, at that time, Adriana then moved to amend the amendment, uh, which she had moved to retract it and just like consider more. Uh, TSS's new counselor, you are the secondary, so we wanted to ask you if it was also okay 
to attract it uh, with the knowledge we had this plan to automate it on again uh, after we turn the result of bios uh, just to make the raw materials easier so we're not getting like unmanned limit let's consider them one at a time does that answer your question yeah i think yeah i think i hope it's clear for everyone what we're doing yeah so we just need to um, do you retract or do not because if you don't retract then we have to proceed to calling the question and then voting on the motion voting on the amendment of the amendment before we move on so are we like I, yeah i also seen the chat but are we still debating ios or no adriana's we are still debating adriana's right now we're right now just asking you whether you retract your list retract your the motion like adriana did yes i would yeah thanks thank you the motion has been retracted we are now debating the amendment that i had stated i hope please may you type the amendment in the chat again for everyone We will now return to the previous speakers list. Um, I believe, Jules, you are on the speakers list from before. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, speaking... sorry, Jules, you oh, are on the speakers yeah. list, but Ashley is the next speaker. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm actually um, asked the chair. Uh, as full transparency, I will be calling the question. Uh, so I just to give students an opportunity to speak. Yes. Um, are there any other students who are listed? Okay. Um, I would request a vote for one. There are two students who are next on the priority of speaking list. It is Abby and then Jules. And the vice chair has requested that they both go before her. So Abby, you have your two minutes. Thank you. Yeah, I wanna say I'm completely in favor of this amendment. Uh, I also think it'd be a good little piece of goodwill um, just to kind of, for students, right? I think ultimately in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, what's considered uh, uh, unnecessary, crossing your own picket lines, I mean, is that not labor unions 101? Um, and I'm sure TSSU has the reasons, but I think that's following the basic principles of a picket might be a good start. Um, and again, uh, not disrupting people's classes. Um, I think that could be considered in that. Um, and obviously avoiding swearing at people and blocking their way physically, which again, as the CSA counselor tested, has happened. Um, so not physically blocking the way, not crossing your own picket line, and not harassing students inside their classroom. I think those are three fairly standard guidelines to follow. Thanks. I see the rest of my time. Thank you. No. Thank you. Pinchelli, your list will be considered in the list order, I believe. Does I think after, it, was a, it was kind of like a direct response. I, um, we, as okay. stated earlier, we are not doing direct responses. Is it a point of order or point of information? Okay, no problem. Gotcha. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, now, Jules, thank you for your patience. Hey, yeah, thanks for letting me speak. Um, so yeah, I did want to touch on the unnecessary disruption um, point. I'm just not really sure um, what the point is is of including that particular line just because like what is necessary and unnecessary is up to the union striking and what someone from the outside may deem unnecessary um, may not be unnecessary. So I, I don't really think it's appropriate for SFSS to speak on. Um, I say that as an undergrad who disrupted my own class actually, because I want the strike to end. Um, something I would add also that's kind of the elephant in the room is that if you put this statement out saying that you don't support harassment and unnecessary disruption of TSSU towards undergrads, it leaves out the 
harassment that TSSU and myself have faced, who is also an undergrad, um, who is in support of TSSU, and I'm not, us undergrads who are in support are not really spoken about or represented much so far, but um, TSSU members and possibly myself could have been doxxed by undergrads, some undergrads posted on Reddit, um, uh, being in support of physically assaulting um, TSSU members and those who choose to disrupt class, um, disrupting class is legal. Um, it is legal to protest. It is a union tactic. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to add into that, that if you put the statement out saying this, it's like condemning one party's action while ignoring um, the quite scary harassment also from undergrads. Um, so I think if this if this statement was put out, was put out, it would give a one-sided lens to things that, as an undergrad, um, I would not feel very supported by. And second. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm done. Ashley, your list is next. Cool. Uh, so full transparency, I will be calling the question at the end of this. Uh, and my reasoning for this is I feel like we're all kind of already know how we're going to vote. People have decided uh, we're probably not going to convince the other side that a college is going to vote. Uh, but to quickly comment on Jules's uh, concern about the one-sidedness of this, uh, I believe there's every intention to speak around it and the case of counselor. Uh, to bring forward an amendment that might address their concerns after this. So council can then decide uh, on that matter after we decide on this one. So it's not that we're uh, abandoning that, we're just going to get to it later. Uh, as of right now, the issue is of whether or not we support um, the harassment of students attending the bus ticket lines, and if we don't, um, at least I don't. Uh, and in that case, um, I think we should include this statement here. And I'm in support of the TSSU. I understand all the structure stuff, and it's up to the TSSU to deem what they find unnecessary and what uh, they seem necessary. But also, the response for the SMS is what we deem to be unnecessary and necessary treatment of undergraduate students. So what we are saying has nothing to do with the TSSU. We are just saying this is the adverse stand on what the TSSU is doing with the full knowledge of their to make their own decisions because they are not us. But we are also not them, and we are allowed to say we do not support the harassment of the streets to prepare the cost of ticket lines. And I think it's better to make that clear than to have that be something that's up in the air. Uh, as such, I now move uh, to call the question on IO's amendment. I will second that. Thank you, Ashley. So Ashley calls the question. Adriana seconds it. Cautiously seeking unanimous consent to and debate and move directly to voting on IO's amendment. If you dissent, please raise your hand in the chat. Adriana, please may I clarify whether you mean to abstain or to dissent. I would like to abstain. Thank you. Sorry, Liam. I was um, sorry, Sam. I was just trying to um, raise my hand, and my Zoom is acting up. But can you also note my abstention? Sorry. Your abstention is noted. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, 
Adriana and Pancelli, the motion with the two noted abstentions passes unanimously. Um, moving on to calling the question, um, we are going to move on to a roll call vote. Io, please may you again put the wording in chat. And we are going to move on to a roll call vote for this motion. I thank you that it's thanks for putting it in chat. Um, we will be starting with archaeology. Is the archaeology alternate here? The archaeology alternate is not here. Bachelor of Environmental Science also wasn't here. Moving on to behavioral neuroscience. Um, I am for the motion. Thank you. Moving on to biology student union. Is biology still here? Oh. Biology Student Union has not said anything. Um, we will return to them later. Just, can I have it noted that biology has not responded? Um, moving on to BPK. I am for it. BPK is for. Moving on to chemistry. I am for it as well. Moving on to cognitive science. Is cognitive science there? I'll give cognitive science a minute to respond. Okay. Um, we will go back at the end. Um, oh, biology, just back from a washroom break. We, biology is for the motion. Thank you. Um, We're now moving on to computer science. I'm told that it is Computing Science Student Society. I apologize, Mabel. Computer science is in favor. Computing science is in favor. Moving on to criminology. In favor. M is in favor. Moving on to data science. Data science is not here. Earth science is also not here. I do not believe economics was also here. Moving on to engineering science next. In favor. Engineering is in favor. Environmental science student union. In favor. Film is not here. Um, Moving on to Health Sciences Undergraduate Student Union. I'm in favor. Health Sciences in favor. Moving on to Indigenous Studies Student Union. Abstain. Indigenous Studies abstains. Um, moving on to Moving on to myself. Moving on to mechatronics. I am for this. Moving on to myself. I'm also for. 
moving on to um, political science. Moving on to political science student union. Political science, um, moving on to science undergraduate society. Moving on to science undergraduate society. Political Science Student Union is in favor. Um, moving on to SAS. SAS is also not here. Um, moving on to stats. That's an actuarial science. Don't worry, I've not forgotten about you guys. I'm very sorry. Um, Sasa is in favor. I'm very sorry, Andreas. Um, Sasa, Sasu, what's your vote? Sasu is in favor. Moving on to sustainable energy engineering. To clarify, we're voting for the amendments that IO posted in the chat to be added yes. to the letter. Yes. CSS votes in favor. Thank you. Moving on to DNA. Abstain, please. DNA abstains. Mm -hmm. Moving on to First Nations, Métis, and Inuit Student Association. Abstain. Moving on to Out on Campus Collective. Abstain. Moving on to SOCA. Abstain. SOCA abstains. Moving on to Residence Hall Association. Residence Hall Association abstains. Moving on to TSSU. Abstain, please. TSSU abstains. We are moving on to execs. Is Liam in the room? Is, yeah. Okay, as Liam is not moving on to VP internal. Uh, in favor. VP internal is in favor. Moving on to VP university and academic affairs. In favor. Moving on to VP external and community affairs. I'm, oh. Nancy abstains, moving on to VP Equity, Priyanka. Priyanka abstains, moving on to VP Events, Ayo. In favor. Ayo is in favor.
before the before we end the roll call poll, um, I'd like to go back to cognitive science. Is cognitive science there? As cognitive science has not responded to the multiple calls, we will consider that a passive extension, abstention. Therefore, the final count of the votes are 18 in favor, zero against, with nine abstentions. The motion passes. Now we are back to the original list speaker. Now we're back to the original speakers list on the motion. You're right, we did not. This is DSSU on the original list. Thank you. As we're now back to the original speakers list, it is the TSSU counselor who is next up to speak. Just to clarify before I start speaking, is this is in regards to the motion of the letter, right? Yes. Okay. I yeah. I mean, I just had points in regards to the amendment that IO made and also the comments that Abby made. Um, I don't know if that's relevant anyhow. I'm just going to say them. First of all, people who cross, quote unquote, cross the picket lines, um, there's something called picket passes, which people get and they can cross and disrupt the classes. Um, so I think that's also strike 101, Abby. Um, but in regards to having harassments on both the sides, I don't think my comments would make any sense. So I will just um, cede my time. And I just wanted to say that, yeah, this letter is as, yeah, it's as as it is what SFU has been saying for so long. So congratulations, we have landed at what SFU is saying. So I guess, yeah, thanks. Um, as thanks so much. The next list is Adriana, but she has agreed to allow the two non counselors, Jules and Tiffany, to have their lists before hers. So, Jules, you're up first. Your two minutes is on the clock and you may oh, list. sorry if I if I may just say um I was having some issues with my audio with my mic um so parts of it if you don't mind um if you don't mind restating that oh I was just saying you have your two minutes to speak your list in the original you had also listed in the original speakers list which we have returned to so Sorry, what, what was the original speaker's list um, speaking to? The letter itself, the original the original letter. Oh, just the letter um, talking about the tuition refund? Yep. Most of that. Um, yeah, I, I would say um, I'm definitely, as an undergrad, definitely in support of passing the letter. Um, a lot of undergrads, including myself, international students, as we've already said, are really, really frustrated that SFU is choosing to prolong the strike. Um, we're missing out on our education. We're missing out on tutorials. Um, yeah, we're, we're missing out on on what we should rightfully um, be given. So, yeah, I think putting out this letter um, 
will be really good for undergrads to see. Um, it'll be good to hear from SFSS because a lot of undergrads have expressed a lot of frustration over SFSS not taking a stance yet. Um, so yeah, I'm in full support. Um, I'm done. Thank you so much, Jules. We'll now move on to Tiffany's list. Um, Tiffany, you have two minutes and I see to you now. Thank you, Sam. Um, I just wanted to say that I think this letter does a really great job speaking to both TFSU and SFU as the employer. Um, speaking directly like about like the harassment clause, I remember when Professor Christoph Sarosta was harassing picketers in the summer and SFU responded with a strike incident form. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't heard about a harassment incident from an SFU faculty member since then. Um, so I do think that harassment on both sides is definitely not okay. And in this letter, we should recognize it. So I think I saw Adriana had a um, amendment as well, and I think that that's 100% perfect. Um, secondly, the right to strike does acknowledge potential disruption, as other folks have said before, yes, but now you're fundly, fundamentally changing what students think about school, because one day we might have disruptions to classes, one day we might not, and it's just, there's so much uncertainty behind everything right now. Um, TSSU members are already causing class disruptions by not marking course evaluations and assessments like exams, not holding tutorials or office hours. So. In my mind, at least, I don't see any too much of an issue with like professors still teaching as some sort of like temporary glue. It keeps students motivated, and it's just, I mean, it, we, we're trying to keep life going as best as we can. Um, as a student and as a member of the SFSS, my priorities are to learn um, and just hear back from like the SFSS as like an an organization for students and it's just I need to take care of my own well-being first and I don't think my needs are being Four met seconds. at this point in time. I cede my time. Thank you, Tiffany. We will now move on to Adriana's list. Yeah, um, I kind of have two quick things. Uh, at the end of this, I'm going to remove my amendment that had been mentioned earlier kind of in line with what you're saying, Tiffany, about the need to like acknowledge both sides of this. Specifically what you're mentioning, Rui Starosa, that's 100% true. Unfortunately, that has not been the only strike incident report form. There have been more professors who security has um, helped us to write report forms are. Um, Starosa actually has had a report form written on him multiple times. Uh, I think he's on his fourth strike incident report form now. Um, the other thing I just wanted to say is I understand that the way things work, a lot of people are very scared and having their classes feels like a, a sort of solace. But I think one thing that's important to acknowledge in all of this, separate of the SFSS, separate of the TSSU, is SFUFA, the faculty union. SFUFA explicitly told its professors, please do not run classes. Please do not cross the picket line. You are harming students. So I understand that like, it is complicated and people are correct to say that it's complicated, but not only is it students and TAs that are having these thoughts, their own union told them, please, please do not cross the picket line. And they chose to against the, go against the desires of their own union. And so at this point, it's like, yes, all of that is true, but your professor is still making you submit assignments, whereas it's perfectly within the university's capacity. And they've openly talked about doing just openly pass fail and passing students regardless. So in terms of getting grades and getting that necessity for your tuition cost, professors are not working in students' best interest right now. With that, I will move my amendment. I explained it before. Um, uh, yes, POI SWUFA does represent all professors that aren't TSSU members. Eight seconds remaining. Uh, I move my amendment. That's it. Thank you. It, OOC moves the amendment posted in the chat from earlier. Is there a second? TSSU. 
Sorry, please let me repeat that. I had a volume issue. ISSU. ISSU seconds. Um, we now move on to discussion of the amendment in the chat. Please may you post it as the most recent item. We will also be using that as the marker for lists. Okay. Um, while we wait for the amendment, thank you for your patience tonight. This has been a long meeting, but it is an important meeting. Thank you for your patience. We're moving on to our next list, which is Adrian. Yeah, so just kind of keying off of what I had said earlier, um, there have been between, I think, 15 to 20 strike incident report forms. Professors and students have run into picketers with their cars. Thankfully, no one has died. Um, we've had issues with Starosa, who was mentioned earlier, um, at one point punched a picket captain. Um, in general, there has been um, overwhelming security threat. SFU security has been working with the TSSU to protect picketers and to make sure that everything is okay. There has been SFU security at every picket line without fail. Um, so I think if we are going to, and we pass this amendment, so we are going to uh, mention um, that students should not be harassed by people on picket lines. Um, I think it's important that we recognize and mention the inverse, because personally, I've had undergraduate students try to run me over with their car. And as a member of the SFSS, I would feel very disheartened and unrepresented by this union if my concerns and my safety were not met in our letter. Um, so I think in the sake of even handedness, this is a necessary amendment after the previous one that we had. And I thank IO for suggesting that these two should go one after the other. Thank you, Adriana. We are moving on to the next list, which I believe is Jules list. You have... uh, yeah. Yeah, just um, adding on to what Adriana said with the first list, um, about not wanting harassment and so on. Um, I as well think it's really important to add it towards both parties and add Adriana's amendment because even though um, most of the undergrads are not in support, there is a small minority of undergrads, um, myself and some of my classmates who are in support um, of the picketing and have actually joined the picket lines ourselves and gotten more involved. So if there was not also this amendment saying that um, SFSS doesn't uh, yeah, if there's not also Adriana's amendment, then I would not feel um, represented in the small minority of undergrads who do support and want to pick it would not feel represented. And yeah, my safety would not be considered, especially considering all of the um, kind of scary um, harassing and like doxing that's going on. Um, I'm done. Thank you, Jules. Um, my list is next. I call the question. Internal oh. second. So now we're calling the question on the amendment listed above. Uh, 
we are calling the calling the question on the amendment listed above. If there are, I'm seeking unanimous consent to call the question. If there's any dissent, please raise your hand. Seeing no dissent, the question is called. I am now seeking unanimous consent on the amendment to the letter, as stated by Adriana. Um, we also stand against any member of the SV community harassing or intimidating members of the TSSU on the picket line. I am seeking unanimous consent on this motion. If you dissent, please raise your hand. Hearing no dissent, this amendment is carried. The next list is the TSSU counselor, I believe. This is their first list on the motion itself to um, put out the letter. You have your two minutes. Mm -hmm. I was just going to briefly mention about the the harassment side of things. And I wanted to like build off on the point that Adrian mentioned about the SFP security. So there has been no reports to us like by SFP security, if the definition of harassment is feeling uncomfortable, I don't think that's harassment, but I, I do think that the new amendment takes the shape and really builds upon thinking through because taking a middle ground in, in a stuff in a stuff like this is actually picking a side. So you may like it or not, but we have picked a side today. So yeah. I'll see the rest of my time. I don't really think there is anything else that I would like to add right now. Thank you so much. We are moving on to Ashley VP internals list. Yeah, this be clear. Actually, it has nothing to do with uh, we are nearing 8.30. It is unclear whether our meeting is scheduled with end at 8.30 or 9.30 uh, because it did start an hour late. Either way, I will be moving to extend the meeting to 9.30. Uh, this is not because I think we're going to take uh, to 9.30 as we really only have one other item to consider after this, uh, and I suspect that will take all of five minutes. Um, anyways, I'm going to move to extend the meeting to 9.30. I second that motion. Um... I'm seeking unanimous consent to extend the meeting to 9.30. If you have any dissent, please speak up now or raise your hand in the chat. Andrew Nathan, raise a hand. The... I, I have to leave at 8.30 this evening, so I will be abstaining from this vote. Sounds good. Your abstention is noted. Um, now... The motion is carried. We move on to Evan's list. I was listening to call question. I think we've all spoken a lot about this letter, and I think we've all developed a firm stance on it. I don't think it's going to change much. And I think maybe we could call question and speed things up a bit. That sounds good. I second the motion to call I second the motion to call the question. I am seeking unanimous consent to call the question on the motion, which is the original motion from very far up in the chat. I will 
go back up. To the amendment, the motion is to publish the draft letter supporting TSSU and student tuition refunds with the three amendments that have been voted on tonight. IO has listed, but that is, we are currently in the midst of voting, so that will be for the next item. Um, voting on what exactly? We are voting on the motion to release the draft letter. Through Adriana's amendment, or to, because we haven't voted on the amendment, we voted on the motion to call the question. We voted on the amendment about five minutes ago. We are on the uh, motion itself. We did vote on the amendment. The amendment had, Adriana's amendment had passed unanimously, and the call to question passed with two abstentions, still unanimous. So now we are voting on the motion itself to release the letter supporting the TSSU and student tuition refund with the three amendments that have been voted on tonight. I am seeking unanimous consent on this letter. If you dissent, please speak up now. So far, I'm seeing no dissent. I'll wait another five, 10 seconds. Seeing no dissent, the motion passes. We are now moving on to a uh, new business item 12.2, AGM discussion. It is um, submitted by VP Internal, and I will pass it over to Ashley to speak. Yeah, I'm just going to speak through Dan's. Um... Kind of easier. Uh, this isn't a new business item, discussion item for uh, clarity for both counselors as well as admin staff. Um, the AGM is next week. It's October 25th. Um, yeah, and uh, I want to talk briefly about it. Uh, as counselors are expected to attend uh, the AGM and are also expected uh, and encouraged, quite frankly, to tell people about it. Uh, the AGM, uh, for those of you who don't know, is uh, a meeting we hold once a year for all members, uh, all undergraduate members of uh, the SMSS. Um, and we encourage DSUs and FSUs and student groups uh, to come. So make sure you are getting word out to both your groups and clubs you're a part of, but also your friends and classmates. Uh, links and advertising will be posted via the SMSS Instagram and whatnot. Uh, so stay tuned for uh, finding the link uh, and sharing the link around. There will be prizes. I will mention that counselors and executives are not uh, able to win the prizes, but your friends are. So tell them to come and maybe they can win a laptop or a beach ball. Um, we got a wider range of prizes, uh, so please be sure to uh, share the word. And if you have any questions, uh, now is the time to ask. Um, but yeah, AGM next week, same time, 4.30. Um, please be sure to attend. Thank you so much, Ashley. I believe Henry has a list. 
Hey there, Henry. I'm temporarily Henry. Um, just wanted to say this is a great opportunity to drag your DSU execs out here because they can win prizes, assuming they're not counselors. Um, and just a reminder that in order to win a prize, you have to be present for, I think it's all but 30 minutes of the meeting or maybe even the entirety of a meeting. Uh, so worst case scenario, just run the meeting in the background uh, and then come back for the prizes. But actually what I'm saying is you should definitely stay for the whole time and vote on everything. But if you have exams and stuff, then you can run it in the background. Um, just bring your friends. It's free stuff, right? Like it's it's very, very easy, low barrier. And we have a lot of important stuff to pass. Um, and, and I know the, uh, some DSUs have already gone above and beyond and ensuring their execs will come. So shout out CSA and a couple others. Um, but uh, would love to see just some counselors hold their fellow execs, not accountable, but encourage them to show up as well as any friends you have. Um, thanks. Thank you, Abby. I believe uh, I believe Adriana has the next list. Give me a second. I just reset the timer. Um, you are ready to go. Well, now that Abby's hit you with all the sweet reasons you got to come, I'm going to hit you with the doom and gloom reasons you got to come. We are imminently not able to pay for student health care if we don't pass. The, that's not on the agenda for this one. That's the next one. All right, cool. Either way, um, there are very, very, very important things. And things right now on a variety of levels are in a vi very dire state. And we need the SFU community to come together and actually help navigate this. This is of like absolute importance and this not reaching Quarit and not succeeding. And especially if um, further referendums in February don't pass, spell unimaginable amounts of harm for undergraduate students. So please, for the love of God, come to the AGF. Thank you for your list, Adriana. Um, there is not an in-person AGM taking place. It is all over Zoom. Um, I do not see any further lists. As there are no further lists, I would like... Are there any further lists? I'm hoping to wrap things up pretty quickly. Especially as we just reached 10% battery on the device that is sharing the screen. There is no further lists on this item. We'll now move on to item 14, 30 minutes Q&A. Um, Give it 30 seconds if there's no list in the room. Are there any lists for the 30 minutes Q&A? Adriana lists. This is more of a question to everybody else and an invitation. Um, I know a lot of this was related to sort of the letter and specifics around the strike and different things like that, both, both for yourselves as students, because <laughs> we're all undergrads, and sort of questions writ large, myself and Pranjali are here. So people have questions about like, what's going on, resources they can access, things like that. This is a time to get that information. you counselor you're you have a list um you're yeah minutes. I was gonna say I can totally understand people are tired and stuff but you can always reach out to me via like email or you can find me on the picket lines anytime and I know I also had so many questions when I first started thinking about this stuff so please feel free to like shoot questions and stuff and we also have some resources for like what student um students can access and what services are in place so I think um, as SFSS itself as well, we have like so many resources to support you through this. I know it's hard on me because I have to be on um, strike in the morning, do my homework in the afternoon, then go, go to work. And then it's it's a whole cycle. And then I'm like threatened all the time and all this, all those things. Um, the, the bottom line being um, always feel free to answer any questions. And yeah, we are, we are actually all of us are in this together. So yeah. I see my time. 
thanks so much. As we are wanting to wrap things up, I will do one more call for lists. Are there any other lists? There are no more lists. Seeing no more lists, I move on to adjournment. Um, adjourn the meeting. Be resolved to adjourn the meeting at 8.37 p.m. I move. Does anyone second? Yes, second. Seconds. I'm going to give this to RHA. <laughs> RHA seconds. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. And thank you for all your discussion tonight. It was very fruitful.